We're testing a so-called miracle machine at a biomedical lab to see if it actually delivers the incredible claims of inventor Bill Nelson. I sign up to be a guinea pig. We ask one of Bill Nelson's followers to bring her $20,000 machine here to a biomedical lab at the University of Toronto. There are so many layers with this program. And I mean, uh, Professor Nelson that developed the program, an absolute genius, a genius. And I mean, when you get the results, that says it all. That says it all. Sandra Shreve's a true believer. She's been earning money offering EPFX sessions for almost two years. Okay, looks good. And we get a biomedical engineer to conduct our test. Milos Popovich isn't allowed to plug into the device, so he puts his own electrodes next to the straps of the EPFX to record how much energy is coming out of the machine. Everything is fine? You're measuring okay? Yes. Okay, so let's go. When we come back, we get our test results and push for the truth. I'm hooked up to Nelson's device, the EPFX. Our test begins with a series of questions. And the number of major injuries that you would have had in a lifetime? One broken arm. Within minutes, the device has apparently interpreted thousands of my reactions to tiny electrical impulses coming from the box. And what were those areas I responded highly to? Okay, there were two. Then the machine supposedly zaps energy to boost my immune system and a host of other things. Remember, we've asked biomedical engineer Milos Popovich to measure those pulses. That's it. These little marks are the These pulses. little green marks are actually the pulses that we have recorded. Our test results are in. The proof is not there. When the device was zapping me with energy, doing what inventor Bill Nelson calls deep tissue interface, how much energy was coming out? The pulses were about 5 mm, millivolts. Is that a lot? That's almost nothing. How much of an effect could a signal that low have on the body? In my opinion, this signal has no, no effect whatsoever on the body. Popovich says I could be zapped all day. In other words, it's harmless. Yes. 